cross tube, cross tube, floss tube, floss tube, cross tube. Um, sorry, this is take three of this video. So, hi. Um, <laughs> it's been a while, to be fair, since I was last here. Um, I usually film videos about reading and books, and unfortunately, I've been in a rather large reading slump recently due to um, the effects of long COVID. Um, and as a result, cross stitch has kind of reappeared. Um, I've been watching quite a lot of floss tube videos and during that time thought, hmm, I used to make floss tube videos, been a while. Um, maybe I'll come back and, and start again. So this is actually floss tube number six. I do have a floss tube playlist on my channel. Um, if you want to look at just the floss tube rather than the book content, go and have a look at the playlist. Um, if you're new here, thank you for coming and having a look. Um, I hope you like what you see. Um, please feel free to like and subscribe. And if you have any comments or questions about anything that I talk about, or just in general, please feel free to leave them below. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for still being here, particularly since I'm not very consistent with the uploading. I do really appreciate it. Okay, so today obviously is going to be a floss tube video. I have some finished objects for you. One fully finished object, two not fully finished. Um, I have some whips or works in progress. Um, and I have some haul and there'll probably be some recommendations for other floss tubers along the way. So I hope that all sounds good. I hope you're interested in, in seeing what I've got. Um, and without further ado, I'm going to start with the piece that got me back into cross-stitching. Um, I have been cross-stitching on and off since I was about 18. Um, I did do needlework at school, but it wasn't consistent, so I don't really count it. But I did learn to cross-stitch when I was about six. Um, <laughs> I just didn't do it for very long. Um, but consistently, since I was about 18, on and off. Um, but uh, yeah, more recently, it, it's kind of come back full force, as it were. So the first piece that I have to show you is a fully finished object, which for those of you that have been here before will know this is a rare occurrence. This is Thumper from uh, Bambi, obviously. I actually found this kit in Tesco's and it came with the Thumper and there's also a Bambi design, which eventually will be his companion piece. Um, and I just had to have them. I love Disney. You will find that out as we go along. I'm a big Disney person. And this just spoke to me. It's stitched on a very large count. You can probably see Ada. I, I have no idea what the count is, but it's big, um, which meant it was really quick to stitch, which was really quite satisfying. Um, <laughs> I'm not the fastest stitcher, so it was nice to have this done sort of within a week, um, which for me is practically unheard of. Um, so yes, uh, he is completed. He's not the neatest finish because Clever Clothes didn't leave enough fabric on the back to stitch the, uh, the backing piece onto. So I've learned for the next one. Um, but it only came with one hoop, so I'm going to have to find another hoop for the same size. And I'm not sure what size this hoop is. So that's my challenge with this one for the, the companion piece. So that's my, my first finished object. My second um, piece that I want to show you is something that I love. Um, just thinking if I need what to put behind it as a back end. Excuse the envelope, but this is a piece that says, I don't know if you need a cuddle or an exorcism. Now, some of you will know I'm very into spooky, Halloween, horror movie, horror book type stuff. Um, this design is actually by a friend of mine, a lady called Charlotte. She um, runs a craft company in Cardiff called Twin Maid. And it's her design and I absolutely love it. My partner picked it out with cries of this is very you. <laughs> I'm not sure what that says about me. It's stitched on a 14 count white Ada. Um, I need to find a frame that this fits into because I did have a frame. Unfortunately, it's the wrong size. <laughs> so it would have been finished if the frame had fit. So uh, I'm looking for a new frame. And then my final uh, finished object or almost finished object, as you can see, I need to sort this situation out. This is Everything Will Be Okay. It's by the Geeky Stitching Company who do lots of quirky designs, but also have a subscription, cross-stitch subscription box, should you be interested. They can be found at geekycrossstitching.co.uk, I believe. Um, I did this one a little while ago. Some of you may have seen it before. 
um, but it is fully finished. I just love the design. I think it's really cute and it thoroughly cheered me up when I was not having a particularly good time of things. So I need to finish this one off properly. Okay, so those are my finished objects. I'm going to go on to whips. Now, I only have two to show you today. There are more hidden somewhere in the house, um, but these are the two that I'm currently working on and I don't want to pull out everything because there's enough of a mess as it is, um, <laughs> to be perfectly honest. So, let's see if I can get this behind this. This is my labour of love, is what I refer to this as. <laughs> this little beauty is my Stonehenge full coverage piece stitched on 14 count white ada um i've been stitching this piece for about three years on and off um it was supposed to be finished when we moved into our new house we moved into this house two and a half ish years ago um as you can see i'm not finished <laughs> but i'm really enjoying stitching this at the moment please excuse the, the thread um <laughs> should have moved that really shouldn't i there we are see it a bit better so this is my current project. This is on a uh, size four Nerge hoop. Uh, more about those in a bit. <laughs> okay, and when I have finished, this piece should look something along these lines. So this uh, design was from Cross Stitch Crazy magazine number 255. I'm not sure if you can still get back issues or not because I know the magazine is no longer being produced, um, but worth a try or see if you might be able to find the pattern on ebay if you're interested that would be my suggestion okay second piece that i'm currently working on is this one i don't have um a picture to show you because the fully completed picture of this is on my phone and i'm recording on my phone um so apologies i don't have a, a full uh picture to show you but this when it's finished will be a uh disney heroes so um paste and they are in the shape of uh, mickey mouse's head so that will be the final shape this is obviously on dark blue um ada it's 18 count his idea was 18 count it's tiny i can't see it <laughs> um but this is uh mickey from fantasia as you can see i've only just really started on this one um, this is going to be interesting because not only is this on 18 count Ada and it's fiddly, it has a companion piece that goes with it, which will be Disney villains. Um, again, it's on a Nerge hoop. Um, I just, these are great. They hold the tension beautifully. They're just the best thing I've ever found. These hoops were recommended to me by a lady called Marie. She has a cross stitch uh, floss tube channel called Stitches and Diamonds. Thank you, Marie, so much for the recommendation for these hoops because they are amazing. Um, and also, I thoroughly recommend her channel. She's great. She's inspired me to, to get back on here and start talking to you all again. So um, big shout out to Marie. Um, these hoops I purchased from hobbyjobby.co.uk. I will try and remember to leave the link down below. Um, they're great. <laughs> I can't say enough nice things about them. Okay, so that's my other current work in progress, which you will hopefully see more of over the next few videos. Um, I'm thinking of doing probably one every two weeks or one every month, depending on how much stitching I get done. Um, I'm currently not at work because I'm still struggling with long COVID. So I'm probably doing more stitching at the moment than I would normally. Um, but we'll see how things go. Okay, so haul. Oh my goodness, <laughs> we have quite a lot of haul. Um, I probably started getting back into cross stitch about two weeks ago. Um, and I've been watching various uh, floss tubers who have enabled me rather fantastically um, to purchase quite a few things. Not that I really needed much enabling, if I'm totally honest. Um, so I'm going to start with a piece you may or may not have seen before. I can't remember if I've showed this in a previous video. This is a piece by Bodhi Threads um, called Enchanted Pumpkin House. I love this. The Ada, Aida, somebody tell me how to pronounce it properly in the comments below, please, because I'm not sure. Um, this I love. I just love the colour of the material. Um, it's kind of an orangey, pinky, greeny, purpley, very autumnal Halloween feel piece of fabric. Just to give you a quick squeeze of the fabric on the back. Excuse the glare. 
This is obviously all stitched in black and silver thread. It's going to be a challenge, I think, when I get to it, but I'm looking forward to trying this one. As mentioned, I love all things Halloween. I'm I'm very much a spooky Halloweeny person, so this is this is very much my thing. Um, so that's the first piece of haul. So that's my kit from Bodhi Threads. I then have a few more kits to show you. Um, I'm going to start off with, I kind of collect Mill Hill bead kits, not intentionally, but I'm terrified of actually stitching them. And the reason is because they're on perforated paper and I have no idea how to stitch on perforated paper. I have never done it. So again, if anybody has any uh, tips or tricks, please feel free to leave a comment. I would be exceedingly grateful. But um, the two I've recently purchased, just in case, mum, if you're watching, look away now. <laughs> she doesn't normally, but just in case she's watching. Um, I purchased this kit. This is the um, Autumn Harvest Collection. I think he's Woodland Owl. No, no, he's not. He's called Hooty. Um, he obviously is uh, an owl. He's a magnet. Um, as I said, stitched on perforated paper. He's beaded. I think he's gorgeous. And my mum loves owls. So this is going to be for her when I get around to it. And of course, I couldn't not purchase one for myself at the same time. I have a bit of a thing about fairy tale everything. Therefore, we have a little mushroom house with a little star ornament on the door. Um, this particular range is garden, garden garden gnomes and obviously they have gnomes in the range that come with this and I'm gonna to have to get some of them as well because I love gnomes they're so cute okay so those are my two cards cards ornaments and then I have this kit now if I haven't mentioned already I live in Wales um this says cariad which means love in Welsh or if you call someone cariad it means darling um it's an old-fashioned sampler stitched on I believe 14 count ada Yes, 14 count Ada. I just love this. It's from uh, Riverdrift Studios online um, and on Etsy. They're based in Lost Withiel in, Car in Cornwall. <laughs> Not Cardiff, Cornwall. And um, yeah, they have some very lovely sampler designs. Not all of them are in Welsh, but some of them are. I've just realised that my camera is probably going to die in about four minutes. So we're going to have to be really quick with the rest of this haul. <laughs> it only tapes for so long and this is take three so I don't want to have to try and do this again okay so some of this might have to wait until next week but I'm just going to pop this one up this is um a kit that I got from hobbyjobby.co.uk um, this is the wolf uh, it's by Luca S I just think this is gorgeous I couldn't resist it it's just so pretty and it came with the threads all pre-sorted it is stitched on 16 count Zweigart Rustic Ada, which is this fabric here. You may be able to see it just about. The glare is dreadful, sorry. So I'm looking forward to trying that. And then I'm just going to show you quickly the other two Nerge hoops. So there are four in the set. These are just the two smallest ones. So one of them is 110 millimetres and the other is 165 millimetres. Um, they're great. <laughs> Okay, because I am running out of time on my camera, I'm not going to go into the rest of my haul. I will do that next time I speak to you. Um, so you have some things to look forward to, hopefully. I just want to do a couple of quick shout outs to people that I have recently been watching who have re-inspired me to come back to Floss Tube. So big shout out to Marie, as I've mentioned earlier, from Stitches and Diamonds. I also wanted to mention Ryan from, oh, what's his channel called? Rye Rye Stitches, I think. No, Rai Rai McGuy. <laughs> Rai Rai McGuy. Um, he's just delightful. <laughs> There's no other way to put it. He is absolutely delightful to watch and just makes me smile. Um, and also I wanted to do a shout out to uh, the Cross Stitch Bunny, Lauren. She's just lovely and I've been really enjoying her videos as well. So I think I'm going to leave it there for today. I hope that you have enjoyed watching this and that hopefully it's inspired some of you to pick up a needle and thread. Um, and that I will be back hopefully within the next two weeks to a month with a new video. Hope you're all keeping well, stay safe, look after each other and thanks for watching. Bye for now.